everybody to another episode of Anno 1800 and we have a very important build to get to today the island of Pertu for Torup our newest governor welcome to the governor's group and you know we're gonna be flip-flopping a decent amount between uh, this island and the other ones just so we can make sure we get the necessary stuff for this island to get up and running and uh, as mentioned in the previous episode we are going to be focusing here on pearls and tobacco. Excellent combination. Uh, in addition, we're going to also do a little bit of a, you know, a beauty build with this one. I, I want to see what I can do with it, and I will be doing the same with Prosperity. I'm trying to do that, honestly, with all my islands as much as I possibly can. It's more so, like, trying to get the productions up and running first. That's my main priority in order to see like are they actually functional or not because if they're not what what's the point right so i learned my lesson from port royal because i can't move the hacienda anymore i i've essentially put the hacienda for this particular island in the very middle so torops mansion will be able to see everything that's happening pretty much uh, the other thing is that we definitely have oil here, so we're going to be exploiting it, and we are going to make sure that it's going to be converted into fuel, and like I mentioned, none of my governors are going to be subjected to... Go to Prince. I'm trying to explain something here. Do you mind? No one wants to see you. Fish shortage? Fucking grab a fishing rod and go out there and grab some damn fish. I'm not dealing with you. But you can't just... I can and I did. You need to suffer. You need to shut up. Getting back to what I was saying, we have to go and flip flop between a whole bunch of different islands in order to get stuff done. And I'm not subjecting any of my governors to have to produce fertilizer. I will do that for you and I will bring it to you. Especially when it comes to the whole tobacco thing because each one of these farms, it takes two minutes to grow the damn things. And that's too long. Even with um, tractors, that will bring it down to a minute. And these guys produce every 30 seconds with cigars and, you know, electricity. Those are going to be probably, what, 15 seconds? Yeah, so they're going to be producing a hell of a lot of stuff, right? Um, so we need to initially get some stuff over here now. And we have a... What is this called? A clipper over here. So let's start off with getting the necessary imp stuff over here. Uh, I think um, I have... What is this? No. Interesting. Uh, what I need to do, honestly, is to figure out what in the shit is happening. Can I, like, get this under control? How come I didn't get a notification for this? Okay, well, I mean... It'll sort itself out, right? It, it burns down a couple districts, so that's the worst thing that could happen. It's not like the editor is going to give me a, a break here and there. Uh, I want to make sure that I build up these airship platforms on all of my islands. Bad days. Uh, so what are we going to need here? We're going to need 45 aluminum profiles. Uh, let's see here. If we were to build this... Right... Can we not put it here? Can we put it like here-ish? No, because of the road. Um, well, what's the... We could potentially put it like here. Yeah, I know there are ruins in my cities. I'm trying to see where a good spot for the airship platform would be. I mean, this is not a bad one, honestly. Uh, we could put it here. And then we also need to put its corresponding building so we need the commuter station put that there and then the whole airmail sorting and then the item transfer and you know what that works so well that they're right next to one another i actually quite like that here and build the road perfect so we got that all situated yes i know there are ruins in my cities oh they all burn the hell down okay hold on fix that up I don't know what you guys are talking about. There's no ruins in my city at all. That's that's it. That's all I'm saying. All right, so let's just put this one in here, and we're gonna need to take aluminum profiles and bricks. So where are those aluminum profiles at? Right here. Um, 
How many do we need? So this one on prosperity is 45, right? To build all this stuff. So 45 and 130 planks. So we can probably grab some planks too while we're here and take those with us over here to per two. I also want to check the old world out real quick because I'm going to need to bring in a whole bunch of stuff from here. Um, but first things first, we have to check in here, see if we can find Chef Michelle. I don't know how in the hell Torp managed to get this dude in 17 rolls, but dude, I'm telling you, give me your luck, okay? You've seen how much I'm trying to roll for this dumbass. I can't get him. I, I don't know what in the actual living hell to do. Who do I need to, like, sleep with in order to get him? What do you need? 25 tons of dynamite. Well, I can actually do that because I have dynamite working. Even though I don't really want to do that for him, but it is what it is. Alright. Uh, no. You know, on the flip side, it could be because I never actually built the damn thing, but I, I don't think that's it applies to that. Uh, no. I don't really want to roll too much. I don't have a lot of money. I need more steam motors to be sold. I'll just wait for 150. We have time. So yeah, we're going to be transporting a whole bunch of goods from here and uh, taking it over to the new world. And the thing about it is, uh, we want to eventually come over here and build the airship platform here too, because we want to make sure we got air or mail coming to here. You know, we have to always do that. And the purpose of this whole dynamite thing we are going to be building a very, very big navy because I'm kind of had it with not being able to uh, expand anymore. And these AI opponents are pissing me off. So I want to get rid of them, pretty much. That's the long and short of it. All right. Can you... Okay, you're still coming over. Uh, Samson, you are getting close to Port Royal right now. Oh, there's other... <laughs> there's also one other thing, right? So um, I don't like what I did with this at all, and I'm probably going to get rid of it. Um, there's still a damn fire in my city. You know what? Put another one here. It fits. Just get in there and fucking stop these fires. That's crazy. Uh, what I'm planning on doing is... So, I think the productivity of these guys can actually be boosted. Uh, so what I think we should do is... With the Prospero, let's head on over to Isabel's Harbor. Yeah, because we're also selling a whole bunch of alpaca wool. Uh, we can also, what I need to do is alpaca wool also can be useful for bobbins. We can get somebody to optimize the chain, in which case we completely negate the whole felt maker thingy and just go straight to um, felt. Or, you know, get rid of the felt and we just use the alpaca wool. Okay, so put these all in here. Um, the thing about it is, right, that we don't have enough storage space, and is that's not La Isla, is it? Where's the Endeavor? Oh, the Endeavor's are down here. Okay. Get over here, because we're going to need you, and uh, I need to start working on the whole um, fertilizer stuff here. So I'm actually going to probably get rid of This is going to be a very stinky island, let me tell you. It's going to be a very stinky island. It's going to be an absolutely terrible island. And that's because uh, that it I, honestly, every single time that I play a campaign mode, La Isla is that one island that I absolutely l like love to hate. <laughs> I, I don't know why it, it just it happens. I never want to do anything with it except for exploit it for some time until I get this island up and running. And then once it is up and running, then I don't just I just don't care. I exploit it for oil and, you know, it's all over. All right, you need to deliver this and hand on over back to the old world and grab some stuff. Thank you. Uh, head on over to... Yeah, head on over to North Ditchwater, please. Yeah, we need some guys in here to help boost the uh, fish oil productions. Because these guys are going to be producing it every 15 seconds over here. And there is a way to optimize this chain as well, in which you can replace the input of fish oil with um, cacao. But you can actually grow cacao here on Port Royal, which means that we're also going to have to get another person to uh, essentially make it a fertile location for it. If that makes any sense in my brain space, it kind of does. 
Not not a whole bunch, but it is what it is. Did this fire actually go away? There's still one damn place on fire. Can we repair these buildings? I don't think I have any more ruins here. They're just burned. They're not, like, charred to a crisp, right? Okay, yeah, we're good. I don't even know how this shit happened. It didn't give me a pop-up or anything. I, at least I didn't hear anything. Did you? No clue. All right, so big chill over here. We want the Endeavor over at, at La Isla as quickly as possible uh, to get more resources. While that's happening, uh, I want to see... Um, Hmm, what can I do? Well, we can continue with the uh, planning of what we want where, I guess is probably the best thing. This, all together, we're going to need a lot of bricks, so I think I'm going to need to build some more storage capacity here to start off. And, yeah, so we want some depots. Definitely want some depots. Uh, go in here. Okay, yeah, we can we can definitely do that. So these two will definitely be okay to start off. Uh, that'll increase the storage capacity a decent chunk. Um, over here, it's kind of empty-ish. I don't know what we can put... Well, you know what? We can be a little bit smart. I don't see any ruins. I think I dealt with the problem. Put the boxing arena from now. Um, we also want the postal service. What's a good spot to put that in? This would have been ideal, but it kind of screws the roads again. Uh, so we do have a ruin on our city. This covers a decent area. Yeah, put that there. So, where's the ruin? Okay, problem solved. Alrighty, and then, uh, with these guys there, I'm trying to see what else I need to build up in this location. Uh, do we want town halls? I don't think we need it, but we definitely do need a hospital because uh, we don't want people getting sick over here. And yeah, it's really important for that not to happen. And screw their production chains over here. Uh, I think they should be close enough to where they need to go for the most part. Uh, so we have some empty spots over here. Would they be close enough to the chapel? I think they would be with cobbled roads, so yeah, that should be fine. Uh, over and over here, that looks good. And then the beach, the beach is something I'm gonna figure out where to put. More than likely I'll put it over here. But I'm not sure, because uh, we want to make sure we get pearls over here. So I might actually consider building the depots over on this side, now that I think about it. Just so they're out of the way of everything. Uh, yeah, we can do something like this to start off. Yep. So that's a pretty decent storage capacity, for, at least for this island right now. And then over here we can work on the beaches and pearls and all that good stuff. And also have a harbor master, so uh, you know for certain that we're going to be optimizing the chain. I think electricity will work with them, I'm not sure, because I think this whole electricity thing is kind of new with the old uh, new world. So, alright, let's bring in some bricks. Because we need to send the Condor back over to uh, Port Royal to grab some more resources. And then, as far as the farms are concerned, uh, we need to figure out where we're going to put them. Because of the way the island is shaped, we have to be very careful. I don't know, sure, can uh, Haciendas actually grow the tobacco? I'm just going to do a little test here to see. No, I don't want to farm modules, but let me just take a look. Hold on. Oh, okay, we can produce cacao here if we really wanted to. But they can't actually produce um, tobacco. Okay, so that is that is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Okay. Well, you need to figure these things out. If you don't, then pretty much you don't know what the hell you're supposed to do going forward. Ready so I'd rather know right now and not make a blunder later on pretty much and then uh we need to make sure we have a bridge going towards the hacienda itself so if we were to map this it goes to here right uh we can do this i'm gonna make this a double road actually 
Yeah. Perfect. But here, I'm gonna get rid of this actual road to like, I think here is the maximum and build Hacienda Pathway. E mm hmm. Yeah, I think I think we should do that. I'll see the pathway all the way to the actual building, and then around it we'll have. Um, I'm not sure whether I want to build Artista homes here. We have to be, you know, efficient as well because we're gonna have people flying in from Port Royal and Prosperity to be working here on Port Two, and then vice versa. So having Artistas here. I don't think the production chains are going to be able to withhold or manage them pretty much. So let me think about it. Let me think about it. Let me go over here and deliver some freaking dynamite to Alonzo because I'm kind of worried that I'm getting a little bit low with him. And we use a Snapdragon for it. He needs 25 tons of dynamite, which is kind of weird. But he's a weird guy, so. All right, where are you at, man? Deliver to his Let clipper. Oh yeah, did I deliver the potatoes? Oh, I don't give a damn about the potatoes. Come on, Chef Michelle. Come on, you freaking asshole. Come, you've got to be kidding me. It gives me every other purple item. It just does not want to give me this man. I'm trying to, you know, conserve my money a little bit here, but at the same time, I need him. Instead of beef, the building process is pigs. So, I mean, that's at least one way of looking at it. But, mm -mm. It just does not want to give me this man. I might actually have to consider building the chain and importing what I need. More than ready. We also have 150 steam motors, so I'm just going to go ahead and sell them all. Because I need the money. And we're, you know, we're gaining a decent chunk of them, so it's all good. Uh, back here, okay, so the Endeavor arrived with bricks. We need to put those in, and I'm going to immediately work on building these storage bins over there. Put these there. Okay, so that makes it 100. Okay, put these aluminum profiles in there. We're going to need more, right? No, so we only did 45, so I brought in more than I needed. Uh, well, and if that's the case, then send 50 over to Patrick, because we're going to also build it over there. Uh, we need bricks, and we need... The scales of justice don't balance themselves. Bitch, you wanted potatoes. Grow them yourself. The Come over here, and then the Endeavor, head back to let you so they grab some more stuff, please. Thank you. Yeah, because we also built a uh, airship platform here on... Your prosperity so we need sport. to make sure that's all set up as well all right you we need first things explosion in one of your factories are you kidding i was just there do i even have enough to build it back nope that's fantastic okay well i need to bring over stuff like that anyway New orders. all right bring over some windows please some reinforced concrete and i'm gonna need a whole bunch of steel beams and then head that one over to uh prosperity because you know can't go through one damn episode without something blowing up these guys don't have their input particular materials their furs right so you don't have any furs here what happened but you have a whole bunch of fur coats so i know that's not running out that's a good thing uh yeah i think that's all well and good where is the... The Marigold is just taking its sweet time. Getting over to Archie. Sell up all these steam motors and get money. Alright, that's a cool million right there. Easy peasy. Alright, head on back over here. Thank you. So we have money again in the bank. This is going to kind of suck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up this last uh, oil refinery. So that makes this whole area very, very effective. And we won't have to have these guys wait. Because I think uh, we have five tankers working here. And before, Prosperity was actually able to hold a whole bunch. Dealing with you could be a lottery. It's not really, if you think about it. I, I am a nice guy. Just don't piss me off. 
Oh, we actually have a really nice beachhead over here too on La Isla. So I'm thinking, okay, so trying to figure out where these farms are gonna go, right? Let's get at least one of them planned out. There's a whole bunch of space over here that I definitely want to take advantage of. Uh, if the road comes over this way, right? Factored that in. I think what I would have to do is set a warehouse to be like here-ish, okay? So let's build a road. And then what I could do is one of them could be right here, but I also have to be very weary here because I need to make sure that the fuel station is in an accessible place that can reach this one that's more than likely going to be the farthest away. So we're actually going to be going based off of that. And let's go ahead and build up that one tobacco plant plantation. And then we have the tractor barn and we also have the fertilizer silo. And let's see how much of this area we can work with. So get this all situated here, build that down. 280. Okay, so 288. So we, we actually, I don't wanna push it anymore, but that's gonna be one of the farms. And then I'm just thinking like, would this bring it down it takes two minutes, so the tractor barn should bring it down to a minute. The other one technically should bring this down to 30 seconds, okay? If I'm doing that right, it should be 30 seconds for this production chain. Uh, I'm trying to see, maybe I can... Make... celebrate your leadership. I was just dogging on La Isla, now they're actually having a festival. <laughs> okay, alright. Uh, so long as you guys are happy, that's all that matters, right? Uh, I don't think I want that maybe like this. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that the fuel station... I'm trying to see how far we'll go. A competitor's island is under siege. I think if I put it like here, what would happen? I think that's a good spot for the fuel station. Yeah. So this is where our fuel station is going to be. And let's continue on with the tobacco plantation placing... Excuse me, I pressed the wrong button. Okay. Let's get that there, and then this here. And start building it's up the farms. Hard to forget sometimes. What is this back here? It's an iron deposit? I don't think we're going to be needing the iron from here, quite frankly. There's no reason for it, honestly. We can get it from elsewhere. Okay, and we're kind of getting close to the wire here, 272. Should I make the road kind of bendable? Or should I just keep going like this? 288. There we go, that's good. So two tobacco plantations right over here. A very loud car just drove past. Jesus. Another tobacco plantation, if you please. Oh, that's kind of funky. So I'm not actually setting them to be with part of like any trade union here, because I think like this should be sufficient enough, to be honest. Uh, what is that, 210? Don't want it to go any further that way, because I need room for more farms. Okay, that's good. So that's three. And the last one, at least for this spot, could be here. Because we're going to need a lot of tobacco, okay? I'm, I'm going to be real with you. So this island is going to be our number one producer of this stuff for a little while. Alright, so we have four farms. Essentially, they should work at maximum efficiency. If I thought about it right, if that's how it works, rather. And this is going to be where our second warehouse is, because if I put it any closer, then it's just going to interfere with the, the track system, and I don't want that to happen. All right, we need to drop these off over. I we'll ever have plurality of taste. Uh, no, don't worry about it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna grab over some planks and some more bricks, head on over to per two. Because at the same time, we need to actually build the city, okay? we I have not forgotten that we have to actually build the damn thing, all right? And it'll turn into a nice place, I think, once we have it all linked up and whatnot. So the actual island itself doesn't need to be, like, massive as far as its population is concerned. And I'm actually curious, so is it actually take into account personal population or overall when it comes to the Hacienda? I think it's probably personal with the island. And I think the best thing that we could have done was this whole stratagem in, uh, you know, bringing these farms all together pretty much and going to be optimizing them with both fertilizer and, uh, what is it? The tractors. So the tractors will be first, fertilizer will come next. There are ways that we can actually boost the whole fertilizer production chain, and I guess I can do that on Port Royal. But I, do, I would have to build more alpaca farms over here. So these guys work harder. Or rather, these guys produce more you-know-what. What does it say it's powered up? <laughs> it, it, I, okay. Uh, over here, I need you to take a look-see. So chocolate factory, no. Not a bad one. Quality, uh, yeah, well... I don't want to spend too much with her. I just want to see if they have the, the guy that I'm looking for. Oh, there's some pearl fertility right there. Hmm. Sugarcane plantation. Not bad. I can definitely do that later. Oh, I thought that was a good... Well, it looks like this guy, but he's a blue item. Ooh, hybrid coffee beans. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, I think that's good enough for here, though. And then the condor is still here. Oh, okay, I'd like you slept Don't perfect. Tell me you follow your Never asked you how it felt to be bored. Uh, we need some planks, and we also... I'll just grab their last bit of bricks. And you know what? I might as well grab all their planks, too. Whatever. A competitor's island withstood an attack. All right, and then can we build this? Yeah, I think this is the first time I'm actually going to be seeing, like, islands linked up here. One step closer oh! To connecting the world. Cool! So they actually fly in with those things. That's sick. That's so sick. Okay. Why do you have so few alpaca wool? Do you guys, like, not have any in here? Well, that's that's not good. Uh, I do want them being sold. I just don't want it at that amount. Uh, so you... Um, get removed from the trade route because I want you to help out with moving some goods around. And I think you actually do need to go to Port Royal to grab this stuff. And I'm, I've been looking up how to... What the hell is this? Oh, yeah, missing... Raw yeah, because you need the freaking lubricant. That's so stupid. You know what? I'm, I'm not even going to bother, because this is actually... Helium is essential for safe airships. But to get it out of the ground, we're going to have to pump something in. I don't like the way that was phrased. I'm just going to be rude with you. I, I did not like the way that was phrased. Going back to what I was actually going to say... Uh, there are some additional items I can put in here to work with Why these aluminum smelters so they can be very well optimized. We're going to need that to happen because, quite frankly, I think this chain is so dog shit as far as its uh, actual timing is concerned. And I think, like, going into the Anno Guides, it's going to be definitely something I want to touch on because it is going to screw with a lot of people, let me tell you. All right, put all these in here, and we're going to start building the actual town. All right, fire station, chapel, police station, and let's build up these first homes. Actually, I guess we can build all the homes. And, like, practically everything else. The only thing that we couldn't build was uh, this post office, because I just don't have enough of what we need. All right, so put these two ships over here. Oh, we need uh, roads over here. <laughs> uh, silly me forgetting. 
All right, so what's your radius? Yeah, okay, so it's personal radius going. All right, that makes sense. All right, so we have all of our services here. That's perfect. Uh, they don't transport um, the whole airmail thing on their own accord, do they? View your tra Okay, send and receive mail on airship routes. Your airship routes. Well, oh no, okay, so you actually need to have like a legit airship. I quite like the fact that we put them right next to one another. People are waiting to head on to Port Royal, Prosperity. And then over here, this is kind of cool. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do here, like always, is get the plantain kitchens going up. And the second thing is going to be the ponchos. So, um, I think... Oh, do, should we put them over here or over here? Uh, fish oil, I, I kind of feel like we need to just put it over here for now. One on each side should suffice. Like so. Okay, go ahead and uh, build those up. And then as far as the farm is concerned, I guess I could potentially put it like in here. Because it doesn't require a whole bunch. Because I do like the whole idea of a new milestone. them being in the town, you know? I do like this whole little thing. So build that up. And I'm going to build this small warehouse as well. Don't have much more to go on. Uh, we can also build another... You know what? Kind of thinking. Hold on. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it regardless. It's going to cut it close. Nope. Uh, what if I were to get rid of these homes? What, what then? I didn't want to actually delete the building, but, you know, it is what it is. No, that's the wrong way. Well, you're kind of close here, so, uh, put you over there, right? It's 128, so it doesn't really work out that way. Okay. Put the homes back. I think I can build them all. Okay, so I guess I'll have to build it down here. Once it's all said and done. Alright. Alright. Get that set up there. I'm not going to put the tractors and such to it because then that's just going to be a bit of overkill. Because we're not going to be uh, worrying about exporting stuff from here as far as those two are concerned. So uh, we can kind of cool it. And then we're going to need two of these kitchens. So actually one fits into here perfectly. The other one can fit like right here-ish, I think. Yeah, there we go. ship has returned from its voyage. Fantastic, thank you. Alright, so we got our two farms set up and all that good stuff. Alright, you at Prosperity, drop these off for now. Rebuild this one. I need planks. Where is my other clipper? The Dauntless is over here. Okay, so you're going to have to grab a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, a whole bunch of timber, please, and then head on over to first to Prosperity to drop them off. Is under siege. Do we have enough to build the other stuff? Okay, so we do. It's just the planks that we need. Alright, so you head on over to per 2 to drop these In off, because we're going to need to build the tracks. Or at least map out where the tracks are going. There's also plenty of room over here in this section to expand the settlement. So I'm not worried about it. I'm just in awe of these things. I love this whole thing so much. I wish there would be more modules. And just transporting people to and from. Oh, look at that. There's more than one. See, I would do that. I I'm the type of person that could go on a ferry, airship, whatever, if I'm going to work. In fact, if I drive, I feel more, more stressful. And then we also want, I probably will put the pearls over here. And then, like, we could build a small beach over here. We can we can talk about it. The thing about it is, because it's a smaller island, I want to make sure I put the stuff in the right spots and utilize as much of the territory as possible for residences, for resources, and all that good stuff. So, do something like this, I guess. Yeah, if you put one there, that house won't fit. But we can put, like, a little garden and such in there. And actually 
build a road. So just a little sliver will manage to reach that one. Where's my ship? And you two, you know what? You should not be just standing here and doing nothing. Uh, head on over to Port Royal, because that's where we're going to get some stuff from. Miss Hunt does have a mission here, but I have to see what it's all I'm about. Old child. I prefer good, child. Some flotsam over here. Okay, you know what? Endeavor, you head on over here and deal with that. Wait, do I have... I have ship skins. Damn, I have so many, so many ship skins for you now. Okay, uh... North Sea Clipper. Whoa! Alright, that's the cool one. That's another really nice one. Damn. Ooh, this one's nice. I like this one for it. With the Samson, I don't have any options with those ones. I don't know whether the other ships have them. But more than likely, they do. There are a few things to bring up to the Patron. New orders. All right, let's drop these things off here. All right, and then I need you to actually head back home because you're gonna have to bring some more stuff. To be honest. All right, where's my um my wood? You guys should be producing a lot of alpaca wool. You know what? I'll upgrade that to maximum. Because I think that's also part of the problem. They are so fast and efficient that they're just not capable of handling all of this. I can honestly build two more of these alpaca farms right here. And I think I'm going to do that. Ah, uh, that's the wrong one. Right here. Because it's still going to be within range. So... Uh... If I were to put it... No. Okay, so I have to put this one here. One here, and then one here. And then that goes there. This one would go here. Alright. And then build your modules up. Perfect. Do the same on this side. Because I might actually be able to just bring... And not have to worry about um, La Isla being that... I, I, I'm just going to say the shit capital over here. I can just have them from Port Royal. I don't think they're causing negative attractiveness. Are they? They are a bit. But I can... I can live with it. Yeah, so with that, that actually should help out a considerable amount with gaining even more fertilizer. Though I love these ships, I, I gotta say, like, when you're in a rush to get things going, it's definitely not the best ones to have. How many sea motors do we have here now? You know what? We have a whole bunch of goulash here, man. I think I'm importing it. I'm pretty sure I am, because it... Let's see. Yeah, you know what? To hell with it. I'm, I'm gonna build the kitchens. I'm gonna build the kitchens. Because this is just... This whole thing, the stagnation is just... At this point, it's just pissing me off. So, um... I think... Minor segue. We build three to start. Okay. And I think that should be good enough for now. Yeah, go ahead and build them up. Let's see. Canned food. Where are your canned food? Yeah, okay. So that should be good. And then we'll continue with upgrading. We need to get over to Weston at some point to upgrade that stuff. But I'm going to upgrade all these guys to engineers so we can get out of this horrid, horrid stagnation phase. All right. New world it is again. Uh, what I'm going to do is... You know what? Fast forward it. Because I need to get this place rebuilt. I need the ship to come in faster. And we'll have the engineer workforce so we can build more of those uh, reefers. And then completely get rid of our clippers. Any day now. A competitor's island withstood an attack. It also gives us room to build those uh, 
really beefy guns, and I want to do that. A new commission. I think we also have the means to build this here, too. Yeah, okay, so we just need the planks here. So we're going to drop off a majority of the planks here in Prosperity. Bye. So 150 are going to stay here. Uh, but we also do need to rebuild this. So build that up first, and then uh, build this too. A new commission. Do I have enough now? That's 40. No, I need 110. Jesus Christ. Okay. On our way. You here. I need a whole bunch of bricks, and I need... Is it just bricks that you need here now? Yeah, it's just bricks that you need here. I need bricks. So take 150 bricks, and then I want some timber. And head on over to Prosperity. And then this one's collecting Flotsam. There's four, right? Oh, it's over there. We have time. Alright, so what else do I want to do here? Well, I just need to really bring the resources. The Dauntless is booking it. Uh, does La Isla have stuff? Yeah, La Isla has stuff. Just come over here. Grab all that timber and bring it over here. And then as far as the alpaca wool and all that stuff is concerned, um, I guess I can build them back here. Because I need to build a warehouse here anyway. I think this is probably the best spot for it. And then the alpacas... Let's see what I can do. Alright, and then another one right here. Should that, that should be good. And then two poncho darners right back here. Okay, so we have this chain. The initial chain set up for these guys pretty much set up. Um, if we choose to upgrade them, we can definitely do that. And I probably will at some point. Just need to wait for these freaking ships to get in here, man. This, it's crazy how slow they can be. But I'm kind of curious to see what other... Um... So we're on that one. That's kind of basic. That's kind of cool. And then that's the basic one. I'm kind of... I really like this one. So where's the last thing that I need to pick up? Oh, it's over here. I'm trying to see, uh, so we actually do have the tracks here, so let's go ahead and start working on that a little bit. Um, actually, you know what, before I work on the tracks, I'm going to put these actual towers up. I always keep forgetting, like, I need to actually click on the individual buildings to do that. But we have more than enough here to uh, get both electricity and fuel, I would assume. So, I think we're pretty set. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is build the track. And you know me and tracks. It has to be straight, otherwise it's not going to work in my brain. Uh, we needed uh, planks. That, that's, that's what we need. Yeah, that's what we need. Okay, can these ships hurry the hell up? I don't like to fast forward, but at this instance, I, I really need to. Send it down here. Give it to her. Dauntless. Alright. Alright. Grab all their timber and bring it here. So this is Anno Speed build, sorry. Uh, old World, you need to um, grab more stuff. I need more windows, and I need more reinforced concrete, and I need more... Um, what's the other stuff that I need? Steel beams, that's it. Head on over to... For two, please, thank you. They still haven't arrived? Come on. Hurry your ass up. Did you make it here? Holy crap. Okay. Just say the word. Yep. We, uh... <laughs> we need better ships. I, I hate to say it, but we need better, faster ships. Because going up against the wind when you're on a, a bit of a time crunch in order to get certain specific things done... Better. Is, is not the best thing to do. Alright. Get all this wood in here. Okay. First things we need to do. Build this farm up. 
Yeah, it's done. Leave me alone. I'm sure you could rule this entire land someday. Yep, yep, heard it. All right, we got their chains up and running, and we still have a whole bunch of timber. So let's work on the tracks. Let's go straight here. It goes all the way to there, right? Uh, this one can. You know what? I will veer it off to the right, and then we'll go up. No, I don't want the tracks to be like that. I think one more up should do it. All right, we'll make it here. Yes, yes. Perfect, so that's linked up. That's one. I think as far as the other one should go, uh, this is a bit dicey. So I think here is a good one because I need to also pre-plan other farms, right? That's good there. Um, will this work? We will see. We will find out. I don't think it will. No, we actually have to go further up. Okay. So what is the farthest we can go that's going to work on these ones? This is the spot. Okay. Do we want parallel tracks? I think... I don't think we necessarily need them, but we can have them. It's telling me to go from there. Okay. So... If it's from this section, let's just go ahead and do that. That's one. And then that's two. No, you're not doing that to me. Thank you. And do that there. Okay, build that up. Wonderful. And then this track, it can go like this straight. Because I don't think I'm going to be building stuff like that up here. This one can link up to the main rail. I do want to make sure that I can get to this other refinery, even if there's a train going. So I think this works. Okay, so we have them all set up. We just need to wait for our ship to arrive with the stuff, and we can go from there. Moving on with the road construction, I think I will bring it all the way to here, right? And then have the track go straight like this okay and then we'll have it loop around like this okay or potentially what i could do because i'm gonna need the space i don't think i can fit another farm in here it's just based off of this rail system that i don't think i can uh another farm or some stuff could be put in here but i'm gonna build the roads the other side from now so actually do something like this because I'm going to build another uh, tobacco plantation over on this side. I need to maximize what we have here because it's really important. Uh, yeah, I think this is a good spot for it. Get that tractor barn going. And the fertilizer silo. And let's see how much we can do. Displacing all these wild animals. Please don't tell PETA. Alright, that's another farm made there. And then one here. So I need to also build a road up so I know that this is going to be that boundary. I'm just going to hug the train tracks like so. Obviously, there are other ways of optimizing uh, these chains but to be perfectly honest i don't have the capability of doing that right now i don't really want to waste rolls on trying to get somebody in here that's uh let's try to do something like that okay makes it look nice to um optimize all these things along with uh the tractors and the fertilizer because i think they're going to be working enough to the point that we are able to do a decent amount with them. So I'm actually content with the way that they are right now. And we have six farms going here. That's really strong. We can probably do two more because the... When you are hungry, really hungry... What do you want? Your head be I, I think he wants it in the... In the old world. Um, I'm trying to see how far it'll go. Because if I keep hugging the track like this right and this is with the normal uh road so i can build one here and then put one here and i think i should be okay all right so we can have eight farms going and i think that's pretty damn powerful 
Uh, put tractor barn there, fertilizer silo, okay. And I am going to work on um, subtitles and such for the videos, because I know, uh, I believe her name is Allie, has commented on one of them, and uh, I really wish I could speak Turkish, to be perfectly honest. My grandmother was Turkish, so uh, unfortunately wasn't able to teach me. Um uh, but yes, I, I'm going to work on subtitles so I can make sure that, you know, I spread all this stuff, all the stuff that I'm doing to as many people across the world, because I think that's important. And build that up like so. Because I've noticed a lot of uh, Anno gamers, they are Europeans. I've only known, like, one or two that are... Um, Labor on this side. Could be wrong, though. Let me know if I'm wrong. Um, I think that's pretty good. Like, we've mapped out a whole bunch of farms. I just wish my ship was here. With the rest of the goods. Let's go and build that up. Uh, we can work to build this up, too. We just need some more bricks and uh, aluminum profiles. Did this ship arrive? Yeah, it did. I don't think you need all the bricks here anymore, but I'm going to build the modules and whatnot to get this island linked Just up as well. Uh, let me grab like 50 of the bricks and some more of the timber and head on over to Per 2, please. On our way. You head back to Port Royal. Thank you. And then uh, I'm not going to worry about the whole canned food thing. That's going to be working just fine over there in uh, North Ditchwater. And I'm going to upgrade later on because I really want to make sure we get like the base of this island going. I might actually consider removing the um, the fertilizer silos themselves because I can't actually bring the fertilizer here yet, but I know where I'm going to place them the moment that I can. And we will be able to gain tobacco in here to start off, and then once we have the capability of getting the fertilizer set on La Isla, what I'll probably do is I will set that to work on my own time, so I won't have to bore you guys with seeing or watching me go through that process. And uh, once that's all set up, then I'll have a ship that can transfer the fertilizer over to here very, very quickly. Let's see where our ship is, because I really want to get at least the oil stuff going. I think it's... Yeah, it's over here. The Samson's over here. I mean, it should be... Normally they'll come in from, like, here-ish. Hi. There's the vampire squid for for rum. Where is the Samson? Oh, it's further down. I... Even further down. There it is. Wonderful. Yep. Miss Hunt's grabbed a whole bunch of our freaking islands. So what does this idiot want over here? Okay. Well, we'll use the ship of the line for it. You try so hard. Let the sail I, I just don't like this. Help yourself, Gav. Hell yeah. We'll raise a glass to you, Gav. Not bad, not bad. I can take it. I can take it. All right, let's see if uh, good old Chef Michelle's in here. I swear to God, dude. I now I built the damn thing. So I mean, <laughs> please. Nope. Oh, that's interesting. May not be a bad one for later. Okay. He is somebody I want in the new world right now. Right now. Uh, another actor. I'm going to grab her. Okay. Yeah. The reason I'm grabbing him is for those aluminum smelters. We have a crap ton of resources here, and I absolutely love it. All right. Samson, hurry up. Endeavor, you can head on over to La Isla, please. Uh, the Condor is now at per two. Let's put these in here. And build this up. Oh, I need more aluminum profile. Jesus Christ, I thought I brought over enough. Um, Dauntless is over here, can grab some. 
So by additional 50%, that should be... They should be pretty fast with that, not gonna lie. Um, let me grab some more aluminum profiles here. Well, how many do I need? I just don't want to keep wasting. I have a whole bunch of fertilizer here, too. Um, I think I only needed, like, ten? Yeah, I only needed ten. I don't want to make a... Like, just bring over ten. Um, you know what? Bring over fifty fertilizer for now. Until I can get that all situated. And then, uh... Some 50 tons of bricks, and... What else do you need here? I think you actually have enough, um... You have enough of both. Okay, yeah, just come over here with, with it. So I'll just put those guys back. Alright. So do you... Okay, I built that up. It should be a lot faster now. Yeah. Alrighty. Move that over to the side. First thing I'm building is a small oil harbor. And the next ones are going to be these Another oil refineries. Has had the island seas. I need more bricks. Outstanding. Uh, You're fast. I need bricks. Has had the island seas. Uh, where can we get more bricks from? Well, Port Royal is probably going to be the best one to do it. Bring around. Uh, did you actually... Are you bringing me bricks? Just turn around and bring me more. So we should be producing a whole bunch of fertilizer here. Uh, we can even probably build another... You know what? I'm just gonna build another Hacienda fertilizer maker here. Actually, I probably can build two. I, I'm gonna just do that. So that should be sufficient, right? That, that's so much better. Okay, so you know where the fertilizer is going to be coming from. It's going to be coming from Port Royal. I, I can also work on it on, on La Isla as well. It's not a big deal. All right, uh, fast forward this, please, because I really want to get this going. At least we're going to get some oil in this production. Fix the times. Does it, dude? Please? <sighs> okay, Patrick, let's, let's have a one-on-one -on -one here. I know it's not your fault, okay, that you don't have coffee there. I need to know, though, okay? If, if there's a, a shortage there, I need to know. If your people want coffee, it's necessary, okay? Because you and I are a team. You and I are not a team with this idiot, okay? This is the dude that's screwing us all over. But for the time being, I will deal with the problem. I will bring more coffee over to you. No, 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 no. Can you leave... All right, let's get this set. We're going to build all the friggin' fertilizer silos again. Because now I know I'm going to be making a whole bunch of that. So totally can make it work with all of these areas. The one there. One there. And then we got three more. Damn it, I didn't want to actually press it. Whatever. Build it up. At least get a start. Well, I haven't built the actual farms yet. The farm fields. Uh, I need... What the hell? Oh, there it is. Jesus, I, I thought I was going through a minor crisis to figure out what the hell I was trying to do here. <laughs> yeah, so we're just gonna need some more bricks and then we can build up the rest of that stuff there. What other... What type of... Um... Oh yeah, so it is too far from, from the warehouse. Okay, so a warehouse. More than likely, you know, like, I can just probably build another one over here. And that should be fine. Uh, probably here. Yeah. But we're gonna need a lot of bricks in order to, um, bring over a whole bunch of stuff. So... You bring me bricks, because I'm going to need them. And you're faster than the other ship, so get on over here real, real fast. Dauntless, grab me some more bricks, too. You might as well. Because I'm going to build cobble roads everywhere. And fast forward it, because I want to make sure I can do this whole thing today, so at least we have the island up and running with all of our stuff. Now, 
Uh, Tor, please tell me uh, which train skin you'll like here. Because for now, I'm just going to set it to random use trains. So, uh, there's a whole bunch. Whichever one you want here. I'll just go over them slowly. Imperial Train, Yuletide Train, Hellhound, Pale Lilac, Yuletide Locomotive, Hellhound Locomotive, Pale Lilac Engine, North Sea Coaster. You let me know, and I will make that happen. And this is also needs bricks, right? Yeah, we just need a crap ton of bricks. Alrighty, Samson's here. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and build up these other two oil refineries. And we are golden. We also need to build up this fuel station, which Great needs timber. Good dog. We are also going to need some timber, but the timber can come from uh, La Isla, because we're already here. Let's grab a little bit. And by a little bit, I just mean 150. <laughs> All right, let's build uh, some paved roads everywhere because we want them to be able to get to where they need to go fast, especially here. Wonderful. And over here too, please. All right, and we'll build up the small warehouse as well. So now, so now we have all these areas linked up. They should work very, very efficiently. We just need to get the rest of the stuff we need here, and we should have tobacco going relatively soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Just gotta wait, make sure the slow ass ship makes it in time. It, it's getting there. It's getting there. And then what we're also going to be doing is preparing a fleet. Because the fleet is going to be real important. I don't know whether the economy is going to be able to manage it, but you know what? I'm going to do my damnedest. Because I think if we were to actually swap the run production from La Isla over to Port Royal, it would probably be better. And export the run from here over there because we're going to have more engineers and they pay out the wazoo for it. So, Just say the word. all right. Put this stuff in here. Fantastic. And you have a whole bunch of timber, so that's good too. I the worst. And then we'll focus on pearls on the next episode, more than likely. I just really think that this is a lot more important to get up. Uh, you head on over to Lysa and give me some more timber. Alright, let's get this going. Uh, first things first, I want to build a post office. And then the next thing is, uh, let's actually start off with this one, seeing as how uh, we built it actually already. And then we just need steam motors, so I'll bring that over from the old world at some point, but we have our first tobacco fields going. Let's actually set that up to go from now. Uh, build this, build the actual fields, get that going. And just get some more timber and we'll get the rest going. So we have the basis for per two set up. We just need a little bit more stuff, steam motors and uh, getting the whole fuel situation going. Your leadership. Excellent job. See, they didn't even need the coffee, Patrick. I'm telling you, the editor is not on our side, okay? And Torup, you won't come to understand this seeing as how you're a new governor here. The editor is there to screw us, not help us, okay? We don't listen to a damn thing that he says. We just roast them, literally, and tell them to F off, okay? Get into the groove of that, because you're going to be doing that a fair amount, okay? So with that being said, uh, definitely some massive gains here. Just a couple more of these needing to be built up. And then uh, the Island of Pertu will be our chief source of tobacco going forward, because right now that's production chain being at like... So it's a minute now with that, so that my hunch was correct. Um... Yeah, and then with the tractors, it'll definitely be faster. So, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to finish building this island in the next episode, the beginning, and then work focus on 
uh, North Ditch Water to get it out of its stagnation phase and then flip flop to and from, you know, we're going to be doing that constantly. I'm very happy that we got this airship link going now between our islands. So that's going to be really fantastic. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. Comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell button, share with your friends, all that good stuff. I really appreciate every single one of you being here and engaging. You guys are awesome. Excellent morale boosters. Have a great one.